Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So God wants you to know the British Empire is going to crumble and it's going to fall because they stole the destinies and the royalty and the nobility of the house of David. So Queen Elizabeth tries to say that she descends from King David, the house of Israel, um, the one that is in power right now, the Queen of Babylon. The remnant. Of, she tries to say she's from the remnant of Judah. That's why she, how she went around going about um, her and her family putting their names on things and saying that they were royal when the children of Israel and the children of Judah were in captivity of their 400 years of slavery she was going about pretending to be them and pretending to be the house of David and saying that she comes from the house of David right so it tries to say who she is in the Bible that she comes from the house of David you see that then um, Queen Elizabeth descended from King David when no that's how she got to pretend to be the queen because the queen is supposed to be daughter Zion, King David's daughter. Queen Elizabeth has nothing to do with the lineage. And we're going to go to this man's vision. I told you for like two, three years, you can watch my video on um, the real kings of England and the part with the queens where you see that even Queen Elizabeth the first, she was black. So this is her with her afro. They're always changing her copper engravings. But if you want to know the truth, just follow the money. You'll always see that. You know there's pictures of King David being black. So if she descended from King David and Queen Elizabeth I. Queen Elizabeth I was black. This is one of her statues. She like They're always like messing with her pictures because like it's the proof. But I have a lot like of videos with like going into the art. If you want to know the truth, you need to study coins, money, and art. You know, they say follow the money. You really have to literally follow the money in, in this, this Ponzi scheme that they put together when the children of Israel were in slavery. So this would be like a picture of King Solomon. You know, King Solomon's back, black. If you want to study art, study copper engravings from the 14 and the 1500s. Study manuscripts, and you'll know the truth. And follow and, and study money and coins from like the... 1300 1400 1500s right god like for a couple of years he makes me study maps coins money manuscripts art museums like there's a lot of museums you can look from look at at home from your laptop or your tablet you just have to know the sites right so you know king david this is supposed to be a depiction of king david king david is black there's lots of look up uh, manuscripts copper engravings and the pictures that they have in museums, right? This is what a book would be, King David being black. But that's not to say this is be him like when he's young. They did a depiction of him when he slew Goliath. No, not when he slew Goliath. Like just him with a sword. That's that's King David in the 11th century when they drew him, right? That's why it says right here, um, the adventures of sexy black medieval King David. I want to say that 11th century, right? So if you look they've messed with her picture this picture is an actually a classic art of an etching of queen elizabeth the first and they always depict her like that but if you study art you'll know a lot of truth if you don't study art like what's in museums then it's going to be hard for you to know the truth right so i'm going to get to the video of the person who got this um, revelation about God, but God has been making me have a lot of revelations about you putting videos together, proving that she's sitting on the destinies of his people, her and her family. They're not the real royals. Um, they have nothing to do with the house of David. They have nothing to do with Queen Elizabeth the first, period. And that Queen Elizabeth the first, I showed you how Mary Queen of Scots, King, King James, mother, um, the one you guys, how you say Bloody Mary, I teach you how that came about. I show you the pictures that um, Mary Queen of Scots, King James's mother, she's black. If you watch the Kings of England, study etching, et edging and etching art. Study manuscripts, study copper engravings, and, and look at art from museums. Look at statues. And you need to study that and look at maps because they keep changing names and of places so you won't understand the truth. So um, remember I told you God is dethroned in her. I was taken into the courts of revelation in the heavens. I was carried into the court of revelation in the heavens. And the book of secrets or the tablet of secrets was open and this is what I saw or this is what I was shown the great British Empire will see 
cease to exist very soon. The great British Empire. Great city Babylon. Cease to exist very soon. And if you listen to my prophecy on the 12th of December concerning 2022, you can connect it to what was shown me in continuation to what was revealed to me then. In that December. I didn't see. The star of the Queen of England, which is called Algol, was shown to me, and I saw it fell from the heavens, and it came straight to the earth. Amen. Which means that her time to depart has come. Her time. Sit in the dust, so daughter of Babylon. Someone there is who no is throne of the things of the spirit will say this woman is old. So if she is dying or she's going to die, what is so special about God revealing it to you or you prophesying about it? Because she's being dethroned and the house of David restored. And if you listen to once again the prophecy of the 12th of December, you will understand the importance of the departure of the queen. Why? For the restoration of God's people. It has to be said and it has to be prophesied. Because the British Empire will never be the same when she departs. The British Empire. There's will a new never government. There's a new the crown. Same when she departs. A word to the wise is enough. The star of Algol, which I saw as the star of Queen Elizabeth of England, that was shown to me takes its name from an Arabic word, Arabic word, meaning the demon head, representing the terrifying snaky head of the queen or the monster of Medusa. The level where we are, you may not understand. Amen. But take it as it is. All that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, that amen was coming from his videos, so I know that amen. Um, I've been telling you for about two years now, if you look at the video, the Queen of Babylon, if you look at the video, um, Jerusalem, the motherland, and Queen Elizabeth, Witch, and how she's sitting on the destinies of God's people and their inheritance and their birthright, God sh um, made me go through copper engravings um money with her when she switched history when she went about changing names of everything i have the proof but i'm not making a video about that i want you to do your own research because people like um they're blinded about what they see but the spiritual realm is so different right so please take this up with fasting and praying because this is prophecy and this is right now this is like um a dethrone for a restoration of a people because they stole, they killed, steal, and destroyed, and they shed a lot of innocent blood and do a lot of sorcery to keep the lie going. And they pay a lot of media to keep this lie and this facade going and this illusion and delusion and confusion of who God's people really are. They've stolen identities, like whole identities of people, have made books about people that is not them. They stole their whole history. Like, I'm talking identity theft at the highest scale with, like, a lot of money backing this stuff up. It is wicked. And, like, God is tearing this apart. That's why, like, the people in covenant with him, they know who they are spiritually. Like, he's rewarding them. The people who are walking around and trying to walk in their destinies, their inheritances, you know, their possessions and belongings, he's cutting that off. They're oppressors. Woe on to the rich. These people are not walking in their own talents, in their own blessings, in their own inheritance, in their own birthrights. They stole it from God's people. Um, I've been saying this for a long time. Um, please take this up with fasting and praying. And I do have two videos that I'm supposed to walk and talk to you about, but um, that, that'll be God willing tomorrow. Um, it's very important. It's talking about the promises of me, um, like the pro how you walk in the promises and covenant of God, like the people, 
how you're going to be walking in them and why the other people are not going to be walking in them. So that's what I'm going to speak about and something else. So stay blessed and please take this up with fasting and praying, people of God.